What's up everyone? On today's video, we're going to learn how to make a pretty snazzy button animation that looks something like this on one of my favorite tools called Webflow coming right up. What's going on everyone? I know I missed last week. I was out on vacation with family. I had a great time with them. Got to see my niece graduate from high school. It was a little different, you know, with the drive through graduation. It was unique, but I'm glad that her school made a special memory, even with this whole coronavirus situation. It's weird, it's different, but we are making the best out of the situation. That's awesome. But hey, if you're just tuning in, my name is RR Abrat, and I'm the founder and creative director at Abrat Creative, a design agency that's focused on helping faith-based ministries and nonprofit organizations. But on Instagram and on YouTube, I love to teach about the process and the business of web design. Pretty much how you can make websites and how you can make a living making websites. And lately, I've been enjoying giving some tips and tricks on using one of my favorite platforms, which is Webflow. And today, we're gonna learn how to make a simple button animation. So let's hop right into it. This is actually a project um, that I did a couple of weeks ago. Um, I worked on this menu animation right here. And if you wanna go ahead and see that here, I'll show you real quick. If you wanna go ahead and see how to do that, click the link. I believe it will be there, all right? Click that link and it'll take you to that video so you can see how I did that Lottie animation menu. I got a good feedback from that, that's awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and add a button here. This is our header and we're gonna add our call to action. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna add a container in this section and uh, we're gonna go ahead and just call this uh, header container always guys always remember please name your classes and containers are really cool because they're automatically i believe 900 pixels wide and um if, you, if you're okay with that if you're kind of thinner it's cool to have that because it's kind of responsive already and it's, it makes it easier for you now of course you can just go ahead and make your own container just make a dip but i digress so We'll go ahead and uh, we'll put a margin up. We'll make this, uh, we'll put the button a little bit lower. So let's add some 200 pixels. Oh, that's not the way to go. So actually what we'll do is we will add a padding here of 200 pixels. There you go. Mm, let's make it actually 400. All right, we're gonna add our button right here. So we'll go ahead and go down here. Let me get myself out of the way, add button right there. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna put this in the middle. So I'm gonna put margin auto left, margin auto right. That did not work. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do this. I oh, no, actually we'll just center everything. There you go, all right. So we're gonna um, click this button. Now I don't like the styling particularly of this button. Um, I wanna make it big, I wanna make it bigger, I wanna make it bolder. Um, I kind of particularly like some rounded corners here and there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add some more padding, make it 15 on top, 15 on the bottom, and let's do 30 on the side. But you know what, let's do 40 on the sides there. Okay, <clears throat> we're gonna make the text into uh let's pick let's pick something that match what the font is this this is uh lotto so let's go ahead and pick lotto as well and let's make the text a little bigger that looks pretty good make a height of 30. so pick this button text and let's go ahead and make this all caps and let's call it contact us now buttons generally i like to add a little bit of spacing between the letters so let's maybe add one pixel of spacing that looks good uh we'll change these, these colors we'll go ahead and make this like an orange just color to match the logo that looks great should we add a gradient oh we feeling fancy add a gradient let's do it Add a gradient. 
that sounds good to me we're gonna add a gradient going this way let's add a little little gradient action Ooh, there we go that's what we're talking about that's stuff right there love it and we'll add some rounded corners we're gonna make this 50 there you go so now we have our button one last thing i'm sorry i know you guys probably annoyed with me let me add a shadow will that work yes um like i said if we're gonna do something let's make it nice right okay here we go that's to oh let's add some blur yes sir that's it all right so now we have our button what we're gonna do actually you know what this words is too big okay so now actually because we're gonna put an arrow we might need to add some space on the sides so now that we have our button, what we want to do is that when it hovers, there's going to be an arrow that that will slide um, from the from the outside and slide in to the left. And this one will move a little bit to the left. So what we want to do is we want to add a background um, during hover. And in order for us to get that arrow, I'm going to go. I'm going to go ahead. I don't want to make my own arrow because I am lazy. And remember, don't work hard, work smart, right? So I want to recommend this space called Icon Finder. And I try to do that on all my videos whenever I put up a new video. Last time I recommended LottieAnimation.com. I recommend icon, IconFinder.com, one of my favorite places to find icons. So we're going to go in and put a uh, right arrow because that's what we want, right? That's what we want, right arrow. And let me see here, and that looks good. This one looks pretty good. I think we'll go ahead and use that. Now it's black. We want it to be white. I can go ahead and put this on Photoshop or Illustrator and make it white, but it's actually an easier way, which is really cool. Go ahead and go to SVG. Uh, actually not SVG, there you go, right here. Go ahead and go to Open in Icon Editor. And what we're gonna do real quick is we are just going to click this and make it white. There you go. Now download this icon as an SVG, and there you go. You've got your um, icon right there. So we're gonna go back to Webflow, and we are gonna go to Assets, <clears throat> and we are gonna put this right here. Shablam! Now that we are back from our icon finder, we have our icon ready to go. Go ahead and click this element and you're going to click this side right here, this arrow. These are the different elements that you can pick that you can modify your element with. So we want to click hover. And so that when we hover, we have a kind of a cool animation thing going on. Uh, go to go down and go to background. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an arrow to the background. OK, check this out. So we'll go ahead and click back, click the arrow button right here. And we're going to choose an image and the SVG that we just downloaded, we're going to go ahead and put that there, right? Now, as you can see, it's tiled, it's multiple. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, on the tile part, just click X because we just want one arrow, okay? Now, we want to make it a little smaller. That is way too big. No red robin. I don't need that. Now, that's actually, that's a good size. Is it not? Okay. So let's go ahead and put this in the middle. We want it in the middle, maybe in the right. Now, this is very, very important. Uh, I forgot to backtrack this. So let's actually go back to the state none. Okay. And we're going to add this again. We're going to add the arrow as well. Same thing. We want this arrow. We want it. I believe we made it 30 pixels. Now, by the way, you want to make sure this is exact. Okay, you don't want to mess it up. So you want to make sure exactly we'll put it right here. So let's check it real quick. Button, hover, good. Oh, that's pressed. Hover, good. Now, what we're going to do is this. Whenever it's on um, the regular state, not the hover state. So this is very key right here. This is very important. Make sure you keep an eye on that. What we're going to do is we're going to click this background icon. And we're going to make it actually, instead of 100% left, we're going to make it 100 
50% left and notice it's gone. Actually, it's not gone. It didn't disappear. It's actually kind of somewhere around here. It's out of the element and it's not showing. And what we wanted to do is if you notice on hover, so on button on the regular one, it is 150%, but on hover, it is at 100% because now no come sudden when you hover, it shows up, right? Now we don't want it to just show, well, first of all, we don't want it there. What we want is for it to move a little bit to the left. So it's really simple on the hover state, make sure you always click that, okay? On the hover state, we want to make it maybe 80%. Let's try that. It's a little too much, let's do 90%. Let's do 85. Now, as you notice, when you hover, the arrow pops up, right? Because that is the arrow that we put. Now, the contact us, we wanted to, to nudge a little bit to the left. So what we're gonna do is actually fix the padding. Now, make sure you remember this, whatever padding you add on the right side, you subtract it from the left side because you don't want the math to mess up because then what happens is your button, instead of, Instead of your uh, words just moving, your button will resize and you don't want that, okay? So let's say we put this at 35 and then we're gonna go ahead. So we subtracted 50, so we're gonna add 15 to this. So we're gonna make that 65. So notice now it pops up there, okay? Now just a kind of pet peeve. I feel like the arrow is a little too big. Um, what do you guys think? I think it is too big. Let's fix that a little bit. Let's make it. 25 pixels what do you say what do you say now on hover you gotta do it on both now because if we did that a while ago it would have been better but um there you go okay that looks a lot better doesn't it so now let's check this out right okay now what we did is on so we kind of messed up a bit so we did it on button so let's go back to this being 50 and this being 50, but on hover, we changed the padding, this being 35, so we subtracted 35, and then we added, so we add, subtracted 15, and we added 15, and now check this out. So when we hover, it becomes the type of thing we want. Now, final thing, and this is all you gotta do, and we're done. So scroll all the way down here, and go to transitions, click the plus button, and we're gonna go ahead and do all properties so that everything has a transition. And let's try to do it 400 milliseconds and then see it, there you go. So we'll go ahead and check it out over here. And now you have it. So there you have it, a cool button animation that you can apply right away on your next website. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something from that video. If you did, would you be someone really cool and click that like button? That would really help me out. And also consider subscribing. We're coming out with weekly content about web design and even tips and tricks about some of my favorite web design platforms like Figma, Sketch, and also one of my favorite ones, which is Webflow. If you have any questions, comment them down below. I would love to answer them. I may not know everything, but I will do my best to help someone out there. Well, that's it for today. See you next time. Peace.